Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to Mathematics 6, Quarter 3, Week Number 1. Today, we will discuss the understanding of the solid figures. Okay, let's go. So, we are now in Quarter 3, Week Number 1 of our most essential learning competencies. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to visualize and describe the different solid figures, cube prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere using various concrete and pictorial models. And we're going to differentiate the solid figures from plane figures. And number two, we're going to identify the number of faces of the solid figures. Okay, let's go. So, lesson one, understanding solid figures. First, we're going to recall and identify the plane figures being illustrated. For number one, this illustration, what do you call this plane figure? Correct, the answer is triangle. How about this plane figure? This would be square, correct. And then, next one is a rectangle, correct. Next one is, correct, pentagon. And the next one, the answer must be hexagon. And the other one is heptagon. And lastly, octagon. Okay? So, that would be the uh, plane figures. Now, let's proceed to a solid figure. A solid figure is a three-dimensional uh, object, which means that it has length, width, and height, or depth. Okay, again. A three-dimensional figure has a length, width, and height. Now, these are the examples of a solid figures. We have the cube, triangular prism, rectangular prism, pyramid, cylinder, and sphere, and many other more solid figures. But today, let's proceed to discuss first the uh, cube. Cube is a three-dimensional figure or object that has six congruent square faces. Six congruent uh, square faces. So this would be the illustration of the cube. So this would be the faces of the cube. Okay, the other side is also a face and a faces. And all in all, we have six faces of the cube. Okay, because the definition of the cube is a flat surface surrounded by a line segment. And then we have the edges of the cube. So, an edges is a two faces met at a line segment. Okay? And then we have the vertex. So, the vertex is three or more edges met. Okay? Three edges at met together. The common point is called the vertex. So, let's identify the number of edges, the number of vertices, and faces. So, the number of edges of a of the cube is 12. Why? Because 1, 2, 3, 4 to the other side, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So therefore, we have 12 and yes. Then we have 8 vertices. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 for the top and then another 4 to the, to the bottom. Therefore, we have 8 vertices and then we have 6 Faces for the cube. So all in all, we have 12 edges, 8 vertices, and 6 faces. Now, let's proceed to a rectangular prism. A rectangular prism is a polyhedron with two congruent and parallel bases. It's called a cuboid. Okay, it is a, it also called a cuboid. Again, a rectangular prism is also called a cuboid. Now, this would be the rectangular prism. So, as you can see, the, it has a faces, edges, and vertices also. So, the number of vertices and edges and faces of the rectangular prism is also the same with the cube because rectangle can, uh, uh, square can be a rectangle, but a rectangle cannot be a square. Now, a prism is a polyhedron with two parallel and congruent polygonal bases and all other bases are parallelogram. Again, the, par the bases of the uh, rectangular prism are 
parallel to each other. Okay? Congruent parallel bases. Next, triangular prism. It is a solid figure with the flat faces, two identical bases, and with the same cross section along its length. So this would be the triangular prism. So again, it has a vertices, edges, and faces. Now, let's identify the number of edges, vertices, and faces of the triangular prism. The number of edges, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So therefore, we have 9 edges. And then the number of vertices, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So therefore, we have 6 vertices. And the number of faces, we have 1, 2, 3, the other side, and both bases, the answer is 5. Okay? Therefore, triangular prism has 9 edges, 6 vertices, 5 faces. Okay? Now, let's proceed to a cylinder. Okay, a cylinder is a solid figure with two congruent and circular bases. So, this would be the faces of the cube. The height, uh, rather the faces of the cylinder, the height of the cylinder, and the base of the cylinder. So, the cylinder has a circular basis, both bottom and top. Now, so let's identify the number of edges. So, as you can see, the cylinder is in a circular form. Therefore, there is no edges. And then, the number of vertices is also zero because there is no intersection of edges. And then, we have now the faces. So, the number of faces for the cylinder is three. One for the top, two for the bottom, and the side is a rectangle. Therefore, we have the uh, three faces. Okay, next, a cone. A cone is defined as a distinct uh, three-dimensional geometric figure with a flat and curved surface point toward the top. As you can see for the illustration, this would be the faces, height, and the bases. Again, this cone is, it has a one circular basis. Okay, so let's identify the number of edges. We have zero. Because it is a circular, uh, uh, it has a curved surface rather than we have the vertices 1 and the faces is 2. Now, the pyramid consists of square bases and four triangular sides. So, this would be a square pyramid. Okay, so this would be the vertex, the edges the bases and the bases okay so base of this pyramid is a square so the name of the pyramid naming the pyramid is upon his base now the base of this pyramid is square so this would be a square pyramid if the base of this square is a rectangle therefore this would be a rectangular pyramid okay now let's identify the number of bases and edges and vertices. Now, the number of edges is 9, the vertices is 5, and the faces is 5. Okay? Next, sphere. So, a sphere is a solid geometric shape whose surface is made up of all the points that are an equal distance from the point that is the shape center. Now, this would be the illustration of the sphere. Now, let's identify number of edges, vertices, and faces. So, we have zero edges, zero vertices, and we have 12 number of faces. So, some uh, uh, points uh, in internet is 12 faces is the general uh, number of faces for the sphere. But some is... Uh, 8, but let's use the number of faces for the 12. Now, let's identify for the net pattern of different solid figures or plain figure, uh, special figures. We have the cube. 
So, this would be the illustration or the net pattern for the cube or the rectangular prism. We have this illustration. As you can see, the net pattern for the cube and rectangular prism are most likely the same. But the uh, sides of the or the bases of the rectangular prism is in a rectangular form. Now, the triangular pyramid, okay, the square pyramid, the cylinder, so we have three number of pieces. Then cone, we have two number of pieces. Then the sphere is 12 number of pieces, okay? So in real life example, cube can be a box, a dice, and a Rubik's cube, and cube ice. And the rectangular prism can be a box or, or an aquarium, a racer, book, and a box of gift. And then triangular prism can be a chocolate Toblerone tent uh, with a triangular shape. And then we have different kinds of fruits with the shape of a uh, triangular prism okay okay next we have the square pyramid so the square pyramid or this one or this this would be a uh, pyramid real life example the roof of the church the antenna okay so many other more examples okay and then cylinders Okay, so we have the cylinder, so tumbler, a tank, a mug, sorry, real life examples of the cylinder. And then a cone, we have the shape uh, panel cone, we have the choco, uh, the ice cream cone, the hat, and then Christmas hat, okay. Then spear, we have the marbles, and then... Uh, soccer ball, watermelon, and another marbles. Okay, so let's answer what I have learned. So, samples of a solid figures are uh, cube, triangular prism, square pyramid, rectangular prism, sphere, triangular pyramid, a cylinder, and a cone. So, take note of these uh, solid figures, kids. Okay, now. For your home learning task, you're going to complete the chart below, okay? You may comment down your answer in the comment section below, okay? So, that you're going to identify the name, the number of pieces, edges, and vertices of each of the following figures, okay? Okay, that would be our lesson for today. Thank you and God bless everyone.